call really off the record. One of the keys is that the socks have to be pulled up high enough that you don't show any skin. And the other thing is you want to have guests. My camel, Larry, you're wearing, those are ankle socks with long pants. That is a sin. Is it? Yeah, it is a sin. But you know what's not a sin? Signing a great contract with the Montreal Canadiens and one of the guys that's going to bring the team back. Good to see you, man. Thanks. Good to see you. Kevin BX, one of the toughest, best all-around defensemen in the NHL these days. Welcome back to uh, Really Off the Record. Good to be here. Jared Bull, tough guy. Good to see you as well. You were one of the reasons why the Columbus Blue Jackets made the playoffs this year. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks. And Shane O'Brien, Vancouver Canucks defenseman, scored a big goal in the playoffs. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So here's my question. Not all of you necessarily will be invited. I mean, that's not a knock, but we're talking the Olympics, 2014. There's a possibility for a couple of you guys for sure. I won't say which two. Bottom line is, no commitment yet from the National Hockey League whether or not NHLers will compete. Would you like to see them compete? I would. I, I think the Olympics are a great thing and uh, I think guys are pretty excited about it if, if, if you get a chance to play it. I think it definitely builds up the national pride that, that we have as uh, you know, we're a great hockey nation and you know we like to display that on a national level and it's, it's always fun to, to beat up on the Russians and the Swedes and uh, and Olympics is a great thing. Apparently, for you must have been out of town for 2006. <laughs> that's just a good Canadian boy yeah. right there, though. Eh? Just patriotic. Yeah, what is your question? That's, that's the way you got to be, right there. What do you think, Shane? I agree with the boys here. Uh, I think the Olympics are, are the best athletes in the world, and it should be no different in hockey. Um, I know we are professionals, but. Uh, let the best play against the best and uh, see who is the best. So uh, would you agree with him that one of the best things is beating up on the Americans, which is a beautiful segue to Jared Bull, who's an American, right? Yeah. Kick an American butt is a good thing? I don't I'd rather beat American. the Russians than the Americans, but... Really? Because uh, you don't, Bull, Bull you don't take the American... Bull just a break you get you just want break in the middle of the season. Florida. Florida. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Florida. What, what do you think? No, I, I agree. Uh, Olympics is supposed to be the best of the best, and I mean, if you take guys out of the... Uh, from the NHL that don't play. I mean, but it doesn't bother you guys at all that. I mean, the issue is, do you shut things down for two weeks? Is is that a good thing? And there's no right or wrong. Well, you know what? I just thought of something too. Uh, we were in LA at the last Olympics, and we sent a bunch of guys to it, and we were in a playoff spot, and guys got hurt, and we didn't make the playoffs that year. Really? So there's the other alternative. Who, so it was. Do you remember who? Dimitra Vishnovsky came back, both injured from the Slovakian team, and we ended up missing the playoffs. So. You know what? I might have to retract that first statement. It was a big, big letdown for us. You play did all you year. Did you have a good Olympic break, though? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, they, go, they go with the bad, right? They go yeah, with the bad. <laughs> disappointing. Though. But that, that is a huge issue, would you not agree? Oh, but the funny thing he says that, because that Olympics, uh, we had two defensemen actually that went down, uh, Olin and Solid injury, and that's actually how I got my opportunity to play in this league. So, um, yeah, guys do get hurt in it, and it hurts teams that are fighting for a playoff spot, but I think it, everybody wins. It's a great two-week break for And especially the guys boys. who win are the guys that are not on a roster who get the opportunity to make a roster because guys get hurt over there, right? Yeah. So. Well, I'm just kidding with that. We yeah. Basically, we don't have a definitive answer for you here on the right, show. But you know what? I was interested in hearing your views because... You are the guys that ultimately, like if it was put to a vote in the NHLPA, you would all cast your votes. And there's really no right or wrong answer. There is a no right or wrong answer for this question. Who would you start in goal if you were Team Canada this year? Oh, i got to say Robbie Luongo, even though these guys are sitting here. I, well, Not even though these guys, because got, these guys are yeah, sitting here. Yeah, i got to say Luongo. What Mason, do you think? Mason. I mean, uh, Mason Mason is one of the four at the camp. He's at the camp. He, he showed he can play uh, last year. I mean, so you guys agree, Mason? No, I'm going Mason's Bob the best Canadian goalie right <laughs> now? I'm going, uh, <laughs> I'm going Bobby Lou. Uh, you know, we were lucky enough, obviously, to play in front of him this year. And uh, Although maybe he doesn't handle the puck as well as Marty does, but uh, I think he's big. And, and uh, I know in practice I can't score him, so if I can't score him, he's got to be ready That's to That's the Olympics, mark of greatness. Know? Would you yeah, agree, Kevin Bieksa? If Shane O'Brien can't score on you, the guy's the guy's the best. Who can you, you score on? up LaBarbera. LaBarbera uh, uh, this year once? On Lou? In the game, in your own net. <laughs> no, he was on the way to the bench. It's still a goal on Luongo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Does it count? Yeah. I'll take it if it counts. I don't Actually, know. I got one on Lou anyways when I was in Anaheim, but. Okay. Bobby Lou, best, best hair in the league for any goalie. Go with him. <laughs> I, you know what? I would agree. The determining factor... When selecting the Olympic team, and not I'm being very serious here. You have in your hair. If you're saying it's all even, Brodeur, Luongo, air on the side of hair.